Top intelligence officials briefed senators today on what they assess to be the biggest threats to the United States. At the top of their list are cyber attacks from foreign adversaries. National correspondent Ajra El Nishar has the details, including why officials say the U.S. is so vulnerable. A forewarning about the nefarious activity of America's adversaries. The Director of National Intelligence and Director of Defense Intelligence describing to the Senate Armed Services Committee what they see as the top three worldwide threats. Authoritarian powers tightening their bonds, especially China and Russia. Tensions in the Middle East and Eastern Europe that could erupt into full-blown regional conflicts. And what they say is one of the most pernicious threats, cyber attacks. We have seen a massive increase in the number of ransomware attacks globally in the last year, which went up as much as 74% in 2023. American entities, especially healthcare systems, are currently the biggest targets. The recent United Health hack disrupted payment and claim systems nationwide. But it's the nation's critical infrastructure, water, agriculture, energy, transportation, that the intelligence community fears will be prime targets if the U.S. is drawn into war with what some in Congress call a new axis of evil, Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea. What we see is both China and Russia effectively trying to pre-position themselves in ways that would allow them to conduct those kinds of attacks. Russia and China have denied involvement in cyber attacks. Intelligence officials say the first line of defense is private companies locking their digital door, so to speak. In fact, they say in virtually every attack on U.S. infrastructure, hackers took advantage of unnecessary vulnerabilities. And sometimes it's as simple as a weak password. As adversaries tighten their alliances, the stakes of war get higher and higher. Basically, if we were to have a conflict with one, the chances are we would have a second front. Officials are convinced that what the U.S. does now to prepare will determine its ability to respond to attacks, cyber or otherwise, in the not-too-distant future. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.